Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to be seeing if we can successfully browse the internet using MS-DOS and period correct hardware. So the first thing we're going to need is a computer. We have a nice 486, 16 megabytes of RAM, 66 megahertz. I'll also need a keyboard. I'm going to need a compatible serial mouse. In this case, it is a nice three button. We will also need a compatible Ethernet card. In this case, I have an ISA Ethernet card that actually came with this that I popped out because I was having problems, but I should be able to get it going again. And also, we're going to need a shitload of drivers and software. First things first, I'm going to get that Ethernet card in here. So we'll take this cover off. All right, so I'm going to put this right on the bottom slot since I think that's where it was when it came out. And there we go. Okay, I'm all set up here. I'm ready to fire up the computer. I got my zip drive plugged in to make it a lot easier with all that software and drivers and everything. So everything should be on here. And then I think I'm gonna make, have to make a couple disks uh, for the Microsoft something or others. But we'll figure that out. I'm gonna go this go through this step by step here and. Uh, hopefully have a working computer that'll hook up to the internet using a 486 computer. So, let's power it up. Cheers. And I got my mouse plugged in here also, along with the keyboard, obviously. First thing that we're going to do is create a RAM disk. And to do that, we need to edit fig.sys. Uh, somewhere in the middle it says. So we'll do this. And we need to type device equals C colon backslash ram drive dot sys. And this is where things get interesting. I think since I have uh, 16 megabytes of RAM, I'm going to put 16,000. This one has, is giving an example of 12,000 space 512 space 512 slash E. I don't, uh, don't know what any of that means. So we'll just do that. Do the 512 here. 512 space 512 space slash E. And that's all we need to do this and I think that's gonna make make it the E drive but you know what we're gonna change that to the X drive to make it extreme save it and exit what we'll do is put our zip disk in and copy all the drivers I need onto the C drive we'll make a directory of drivers and that should hopefully be there. Yep. And now let's go. I gotta do. I gotta initialize my zip disk here. All right. So our drive letter is E. And this isn't the disk I need. Okay. Now I got all the drivers I need here. And what we'll do is copy all that onto the C drive. Never easy. There we go. Now I think we got it. Now before we do anything, I just want to make sure our virtual drive is going to show up. So we'll do a restart. Bail drive. Problem number one. Slash the right way? Nope. Forward slash. Let's try that. Control alt delete. Unveil drive. Problem number two. Son of a bitch. Okay, so I restarted again and I noticed that it said insufficient memory. 
for the RAM disk. So I'll try lowering the 16 megabytes to 15, I guess. Change this to 15. Try that. Control delete it. Invalid parameter. Disk D it wants to put it at. Not ready. Oh no. Huh? Ah oh, shit. Abort. It's gotta be the uppercase. Control delete. Invalid parameter. Virtual disk D. That's our CD drive. Uh, maybe we gotta change the location of it. You know what? We're gonna put it right at the end. Not gonna fuck around. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be E. So I'll just say E there. Save. Exit. Control Delete. Let's get this RAM drive working. Because apparently it'll run faster if it's in the actual RAM. Since the RAM could probably be accessed faster than the actual hard drive. Which makes sense. Memory resident portion of smart drive is loaded. Drive E. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's see, D, RAM drive. Volume directory, file not found. So if I go to the D drive, one file copied, and that will probably be deleted when I restart. So let's try it. Control delete it. Okay, so our CD drive is E, and the D drive is our virtual drive, and file's gone. Okay, that's what we want, that's normal. Okay, next step. Let's go into our driver's directory. Okay, we got the mouse.com. We need to go into autoexec.bat and add a string. Just go at the bottom here. LH C drivers mouse mouse.com save exit control delete and hopefully we have mouse action oh yeah install it com1 maybe you can just go right into edit and have a mouse yeah yeah and it works excellent okay next step now we gotta, okay, that's what I need the, the disks for, is for Microsoft Network Client 3.0. And we'll put this number one in. Hopefully it actually works. This uh, drive in this computer is a bit finicky sometimes. And this is basically EXEs to make the disks here on the A drive. Yeah, see, son of a bitch. Fuck. Okay, you gotta figure out what's going on with it now. Floppy disk fail. Hard disk fail. What the fuck? Wasn't plugged in properly, I don't think. It's never easy with these old machines. Okay, so, I got a different floppy drive. And hopefully this one actually works. Okay, we've got ourselves a working floppy drive. Back to our soft network directory to make some disks. Well, what the fuck? Oop, forgot the D in there. Alright, now we're cooking. Disk full. Oh, I didn't format it, I assume. No.
format complete. Format another. Yeah, I'm going to just format the other disc right now. Yes. Invalid media. Oh, fuck. Criminy. Maybe it's the disc. I gotta go get another one. Try this one. Okay, good. Format is complete, and we're ready to go back into the Microsoft directory. Microsoft Network directory. Here we go. DSK3 1.exe space slash D space A colon enter. Go. Okay, disk one is done. And disk one is on a black disk. Disk two is going to be on this beige. Yep, A. And off we go. Okay, disk two is done. Get that out of there, back to disk one, and start the setup. Welcome to setup for Microsoft Client for MS DOS. Setup, uh, setup, press center. C, that net, okay, that's good. By default, I'll never have to use more memory, okay, setup. Just press enter. We'll go with Game Tech Dome. Install it, huh? I must have auto detected the Ethernet card, I suppose. Okay, I guess it detected the right ones. That's kind of cool. I guess we'll just say it's all correct. And hope for the best. Okay, we'll hit enter and have it restart then. Username is GDT, yep. Enter, enter. There's no password. No, don't want to create one. And it's telling me to run MemMaker. Enter, there are two ways to run MemMaker Express, customize your computer's memory automatically. We'll do that. And we'll just accept this. All this stuff looks good. Okay, it's going to restart. Hit enter. Okay, so MemMaker's doing its business. Okay, it's going to restart to test the new configuration. Watch my screen carefully. Unusual messages. Okay. Just turn it off and on again. Okay. Very good. Useful information. Okay. Should be restarting. Yeah. Seems to be running correctly. So we'll hit yes. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll do that. All right. So that's done. Now what we need to do is run the packet driver. So this is saying to put a 0x60 at the end of that. So we'll just try try that. Okay, so it seemed to work. I need to plug in an Ethernet cable here. I think the next thing we got to do is plug that in. Ethernet cable is plugged in. Now D, I think, is not. Oh, shit. What's happening? What the F? Okay, so I'm back to. Uh, I redid everything that I just did, um, and everything seems to be working now. I think. What it was, was I didn't have that slash D at the end of the virtual drive string in the config.sys. So, go on to that and show, oh, slash E. So, that's working now. 
and we are ready to install the web browser A195GPL and this is called Arachne I think is what it's called Worldwide Web Browser and yes we want to install no we don't want to install it there we want to go on to the virtual drive is D. Install finished. Okay. Okay, so let's fire up the web browser and look at that. We are loading. Mouse seems to be working. Hard drive's crunching away. I cannot wait to browse the internet on this thing. You may be wondering why am I doing this? Well, let's just say you know you're in your 60s and you've never upgraded your computer and you want to know what this whole internet craze is all about. Well, you're watching the right video. Okay, it looks like it's loading again. And this thing is trying to focus like crazy. I think we're frozen. Ah, uh, which sucks. That really sucks. Okay, I don't know what I did. Fatal error. Runtime error. I should better reboot your my computer Go to options. Oh no. No, I think we're getting somewhere. Hack it wizard, okay, if you have an ethernet card. Okay, yes we do have an ethernet card. This is great. This is gonna be so much fun. Hi, I am Arachne Packet Wizard. Oh, okay. Okay, so we wanna detect the packet driver. Oh no. Please no crash. Okay. Sorry about the focusing. Ooh. Okay, I want to continue. Okay, so we want to do this one here apparently. Boot P or DHCP. Okay, I really don't care about email. Can I just skip this? No, we'll just go to the uh, Ar Arachne options here. Let's go to preferences and performance and see what that gets us. Yeah, this hard drive's cranking away. Holy moly. Oh! Hey! Ho! Oh. Still loading. 
Every time I move the mouse, it starts going crazy. I think we're going to need this. So this is a performance suggestion here. And also, no virtual screens. I'm afraid to scroll. Disable this. This is what it tells me. Also, and that one. Okay. Scrolling. Okay, save. Six hundred forty kilobytes ought to be enough for Bill Gates. Uh oh. I think we put too much stress on the computer. Oh shit. I think it's frozen. Not good. Not good at all. I think what we'll do is try that one. Okay, we want to detect it. And it is detecting. No package driver found. What? Oh, because of. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, how do I exit? I forgot to run it. Damn it all. What we're going to do is move any ne2000.com. Uh, okay, now we're ready to Go through the setup again. Packet driver detected. Okay. I want that one. Boot to P or DHCP. Go back to the Arachne options. Okay, we'll go to preferences and performance again. Well, I guess it is no faster. Holy shit! Uh, I'm afraid to click. I clicked. I clicked it. No. No. Okay, so just from the way it was behaving there, where it was freezing up and everything and constantly hitting the hard drive up, what I did is instead of using the entire 16 megabytes of RAM, I basically cut it in half and went with uh, 8 megabytes. Uh, I tried that, reinstalled the web browser, and the menu started going way faster. So I stopped, shut the computer down, restarted it, I reinstalled the browser once again. And we're ready to go back in and get it set up again. Whoop, gotta go to the D drive. Okay. Come on. Learn how to spell. 640 by 480. And as you can see, it's loading way faster now. Okay, so we don't, we'll just skip the email BS 
And you know what? I think what we'll do is say use new settings. If the performance is really that bad, I'll go in and change some of it. But we'll use it. And it's trying to configure through boot p slash dhcp. Offline, unable to initialize. Well, doesn't that suck? Fuck you! Okay, so what I did is I'm going to try a different packet driver. So I edit the uh, autoexec.bat to the new one. And we're doing a control, alt, delete. Okay. It found it. And the moment of truth. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's freaking working, man! It's downloading files. Look at this. Look at this. Do you believe it? Browsing the internet in 2017 using a 486 and MS-DOS. Oh, it's beautiful. Although I don't see my mouse cursor. Oh, there it is. It's generating virtual screen. Oh, man. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Look at that bike. Oh, it's so nice. Now you know where we're going. We're going to gurgle.com. Let that load. Look at that. Happy birthday, Fred. Look at this. And what we can do, we can look up Nintendo. I had to say, it's not too shabby. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. What happened? Okay, let's try this again. Maybe this uh, isn't such a good idea to search. Well, you know what? We want to go to Nintendo.com then. Check out the Nintendo Switch. Oh, look at this. It actually loads, too. Guess it just doesn't like searching Google. Got lots of cookies. Page loaded from disk. My mouse is frozen. Oh no. I think we crashed it. Oh man. Son of a... Well, we've crashed. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try installing the browser right to the hard disk. We'll see how it performs at this point. We might be running out of memory. Okay, it wasn't too bad actually. This may run halfway decent. Yeah, not too bad. It actually seems better. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll just stop this and go back to Nintendo.com and see what happens. Come on, baby. Oh, man, loading page from disk again. Son of a bitch. Well, it doesn't look like Nintendo.com is going to load. Reset. What the fuck is all this shit? I don't want to do this. There we go. Stop. What I do want to try here is... I believe 3D Realms still hosts their shareware. Or maybe not.
Nope. Yahoo! Hillary Duff. Um, can we search? What in the holy criminy? Duck, duck, do, go, don't fail me now. This thing's just wigging out down here. Oh, shit. <laughs> man, oh, man. What if I go to... What is it? M? Uh, no. AltaVista.com. Might have to try Dogpile here in a second. Hmm. Very interesting, but it's not a search engine. Shit. Dogpile.com. Tap search. There's two fields. Holy shit, does dogpile fucking work? Please wait, I'm waiting. <sighs> Alright, we're trying this website here. We're stopping this. Oh my god, I just, oh, I just want to backspace. I just want to download a game through the browser onto my DOS machine. DOSgamesarchive.com Come on. You can do it. Oh no! Loading page from disk. It's gonna crash. I think that's about it for this video. I mean, we got the internet half working. I think it's a limitation of my. Oh, that went away. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Limitation of the hardware at this point. I think I'm maxing out my RAM probably. Which really sucks. But, I mean, like a. Like I said, the internet's half there. If you're actually, if you were curious on how the, uh, the internet is in DOS, there you have it. So it looks like this is still loading very slowly. Or maybe it's done. Oh my god. Let me try one more website here before I close this video out. BasicDOSGames.com That's wigging out. Fuck. This is looking okay. Downloads? No, I don't want that. Ah, oh, man, I'm so close. Shareware. No. Look at that. That looks cool. Why can't I click on any of these links, though? Download shareware today. Oh. <gasps> Can we download this? Ooh, look at that. Download, okay. Save it. Come on. Is it downloading? 
I don't know. Maybe it did. Can I save this web page? Uh, I added a hat list. Okay, I'm gonna quit and see if it downloaded Duke Nukem Shareware. <gasps> oh, I don't think so. I may have been in the process of doing it. So it's supposed to be 5.6 megabytes. Yeah, maybe it's maybe that's it. Error. Almost delete everything in the download directory and try it again here. Nah, it doesn't want to do it. Alright, well, thanks for watching. That's about it.